Hey everybody, uh, this is just about to leave the shop and I thought we'd catch it on film before it did because it's just really cool. This is in fact a birthday present that I have built for a friend of mine. Um, it is a piece of space hardware. It's not really a piece of space hardware, but it is kind of a piece of space testing hardware. Here's the thing. Astronauts, when they go into space, are wearing pressurized spacesuits. We all know that. But what does that mean to have a pressurized suit? That means that the suit is under a positive amount of pressure, usually three and a half pounds per square inch. Not that much, but enough to make it quite difficult for astronauts to move around. And their mobility has always been a problem that NASA has attempted to solve in lots and lots of different ways with technology and bearings and constant volume joints, etc. What I have built is a testing facility for a space glove. That means this box replicates what it's like to wear a glove in space. But instead of pressurizing the glove, because I don't have a full pressure suit, I am negatively pressurizing the glove's atmosphere, i.e. this box will be a vacuum. So what this is, is a glove box that recreates the exact pressure differential from outside to inside for an astronaut. And it's also an arcade game, sort of. Let me turn it on and show you these features. That's the light. And that's the vacuum. Now, I pull it to, yeah, see, it's waking up. I pull it to one PSI, two PSI, three PSI, three and a half PSI. All right, so once it's filled to the correct pounds per square inch of pressure, now it's time to actually complete a task. And the task I've got in here is three nuts and three bolts. The wearer will have to put three nuts on three bolts that are here. When they do all three, they win. The middle one is the hardest, although it was the easiest for me because I've been doing this all week. And then there's the bottom one. Ah, there we go. Each of those bolts, when it reaches its seat, actually completes a circuit and then will light something up there. But uh, that's a different story. Mostly, ah, I'm astonished by how difficult it is to actually move around. The idea, like from the movie Gravity, that you could like reach out and grab something with one of these gloves? No way, not, not gonna happen. Dark when he emerged, a tiny figure against the vast space station. Tim, it's really cool seeing that Union Jack go outside since it's explored all over the world. Now it's explored space. Thank you, Scott. It's great to be wearing it. He's privileged. Moment. Hand by hand, Tim Peake and a fellow astronaut inched along outside. Yeah, Tim, that's perfect framing right there. We like that. Filmed by his American colleague, Tim Peake is perched at the very edge of the space station, in position to help carry out a key repair job. But look how hard it is managing tools in space. This is the view from Tim Peake's own camera. Everything is weightless and wants to float away. All right, gentlemen, looking great. Glad to see you both out there together on the tip of the world. Stepping outside the International Space Station is always risky, but spacewalks are essential to build 